This Florida cooking segment brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Hey, behind us is the beautiful Apalachicola Bay. These are Apalachicola oysters. And this, my friends, is the Apalachitini. You won't see this anywhere else. Chef, a lot of history, a lot of culture in this area no surrounding doubt. oysters. Mm -hmm. This town was built on oysters. But today, we're making a Appalachia teeny. Teeny. That's right. Can't wait for this. Yes. Chef, what do we need to do? We've got all kinds of goodies. First, we've got Florida tomatoes okay. that have been blanched, peeled, squeezed, pureed to give us beautiful Florida tomato juice. Then we've got all kinds of fun little accoutrements here. We've got some olive juice, some sea salt, cracked black pepper. We've got some Florida hot sauce, Worcestershire sauce, Dijon mustard, one of your favorites here. Horsey. The horseradish. Horseradish. We've got a little bit of vodka, and then of course I've got pickled okra, and a little bit of celery as garnish. Okay. And we're gonna put this all together. We're gonna be like little mad scientists today. And we got fresh lemons and limes we'll squeeze in, and our little martini glasses, and then we'll float the oysters on top and have at it. I'm excited. Let's get to work. First thing we're gonna do, is our tomato juice is gonna go in. Okay. A little bit for you, and a little bit for me. And now we can start making yours. I'm going to do mine unleaded, so let's make yours leaded. You're putting all that? Yeah, there it goes. I'm going to start mine with horseradish going in. I like a lot. Yeah, wow. I'm going to go with Dijon. What you did, what you did right there. Just a little spoonful here. Take a little bit of Dijon. Olive juice. That's quite so much Dijon. Get in there. I definitely like the hot sauce. Indeed. In there. You want a little bit in your Yeah, yeah, go ahead and hit me. Yeah. Char. Lots of fresh ground black pepper. A little S and P. A little bit pepper. of salt. You got a lot of pepper in your chef. I there. do. I like it peppery. Wow. I'm gonna start mixing mine. Pepper. Okay. If you want to give yours a little mix, I'm gonna go with a little fresh lime juice in mine also. What am I missing? What am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something here. What was this? That's the olive juice. Olive juice. Olive juice. Now I've got these little mini martini glasses. These are a lot of fun to use. If you can't find them, a regular martini glass or a shot glass would work perfect. Okay. Now what I've done here is I've got them rimmed with a little bit of parsley. I just take a lemon or a lime, just kind of work it around the ridge, just like that. Just gets it a little wet. And then we can kind of dip it in. This wow. is not super necessary, but it's a pretty little garnish that's, item that's going not, on. That's not gonna get in my teeth, is it? It might. It might. All right, now. We can do a little garnish, just like this, into each one. A little celery. Where's it? And the pickled okra. Beautiful. And then I'll take mine. You can take yours. You just want to fill it about half. Halfway, halfway. would be fine, yep. Or a little mm. less than that. Because we got to make room for what? We got to have the oyster on top. Got to make room for that oyster. That's right. And they are nice, big, plump oysters. Because that's the Appalachia part of the drink, right? Mm-hmm. OK. We're ready. We'll just go ahead and sink some of these bad boys right on top. Ah, chef, these look amazing mm -hmm. here. So how do we partake? All right, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a little finishing touch. More. A little horsey, horsey right on top. That's going to be like kind of a little back of the, back yes. of the throat hit when that hits. A little bit of a stinger. <laughs> stinger. <laughs> All right. So what we want to do is you want to pull out the crunchies here. Okay. For afterward, we'll cheers and shoot them down. Abalachitini. Mmm. Wow. And then so now we just kind of chew on yeah, that. Yeah, and right? then you got a little munch. Mmm. Appalachitini. Come to Appalachicola. You need to make an Appalachitini. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.